Okay, so we've done color vision, the optical spectrum, Snell's law and refraction. Now we need to move on to building a lens and a formula for calculating how lenses work. So these images here show you essentially what is happening in your eye. This is what we call a lens. It's a bit of glass with two curved surfaces. It doesn't have to be two curved surfaces, but at least have, have, has to have at least one curved surface. Light that comes in here with parallel rays, so a plane wave in other words, will get focused down to a point. The distance between the lens and this point here is called the focal length of the lens. Your eye has a lens that does this. Its job is to focus the light onto the retina. Now if we consider a slightly more complicated situation where rather than a plane wave coming in, we've got some image or some object here. The object happens to be a dog. Light coming from the ear of the dog can take different paths through the lens. Some of it may go this way, hit the lens, and it's come in as a, a para, a, this light has come in perpendicular then to the axis of the lens. It will then get bent, pass through the focal point of the lens, and then arrive at some point over here. Light from the ear of the dog may also pass straight through the center of the lens. Now lenses with spherical surfaces have a property that light that passes through the center of the lens does not change direction. So this light goes through the center of the lens and arrives at this point here. So there is a point in space where the light that traveled straight to the lens and then through the focal point intersects with the light that goes straight through the middle of the lens and arrives here. And this will be the, this distance here from the lens will be the image plane. So a lens like this will form an image and where these rays of light intersect is called the image plane. So in your eye, here's the dog, light comes in, and you want the image plane to be at the retina. So a lens makes an image. The image plane, in the image plane, every point on the object is mapped onto a point of the image. So the light from the ear gets mapped to an ear in the image down here. The light from the top of the leg will be mapped to some point in the image which corresponds to the top of the leg. So every, in the image plane, every point in the object is mapped to a point of the image. The lenses work by bending light at the interface of a glass surface. This is Snell's law. The lenses we'll consider have spherical surfaces. That means we can use this trick where the light that comes through the center of the lens does not get bent. And we can figure out where the, the image is formed by taking this straight beam that goes straight through the center of the lens with one that goes along here straight and then goes through the focal point here. So let's now look at a simulation of a lens using the FET website. I'll put a link under this video. The object in our case here is a pencil. If you wish you can change objects to a star or a smiley face, but let's just stick with a pencil. We have light that's being reflected from this pencil and some of that light gets sprayed off in directions that go nowhere through, the, nowhere near this lens. Some of the light will go through the lens, however, and then that light will form an image. Let's cut down the number of rays. We'll stick to the rays that are called principal rays because the principal rays are the ones that allow us to do a construction of this problem really simply. Let me increase the diameter of the lens here just to make things a bit clearer. So here we have light from our pencil tip and we can draw one of the principal rays as light that goes parallel to the optical axis. So the optical axis is this line here which is perpendicular to the direction of the lens and passes through the center of the lens. So this blue line here is the optical axis. So this first principal ray goes parallel to the optical axis, hits the lens, and then it will pass through the focal point and then keep going. So this is the first principal ray. The second principal ray is one that goes straight through the center of the lens. It will not deviate. That's a property of lenses with spherical surfaces. And it'll keep going in a straight line um, and then at some point that will intersect with our first principal ray and that will be the plane where the image is formed. A third principal ray will be one that goes from the tip of the pencil through the focal point here and then to the lens and light that goes through this focal point to the lens will then travel parallel to the optical axis along here. It's kind of the same as this ray here just in the other direction. So these three rays will meet up at the image plane. And that's a geometric way of constructing where the image plane is going to be. 
if I give you a lens with a particular focal length, you draw the lens, you draw the focal points at either side, and then, depending on the distance of the um, object, you'll get an image formed over here. And you can see that the image changes size depending on where this object is relative to the, the focal point of the lens. And some points, if I go this side of the focal point, the image is now virtual. Rather than forming an image on this side of the lens, the image forms on this side over here. And we'll deal again with virtual images a bit later.